Today we're diving into something super important for you landlords out there. There's five things for any self-managing landlord. So whether you're a seasoned pro or a newbie, these things help you manage your properties like a boss and make your landlord in life a lot easier. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Jess. We are ForTheLandlords.com. We're a letting agency. We're also the UK's number one property sourcer. We make videos like this to help any landlord out there have a better landlord life. Okay, so the first of your five tips for the self-managing landlord mm. is... Have a plan. Very, very few. Yep, um, I agree. And actually, you can wind it up. Very few businesses have a fully-fledged plan. Mm -hmm. Being a landlord is no different. It's, it's yep. a business. And very few landlords have what you could call a plan. Some think they have, and you might think you have. You might, but be honest, interrogate yourself. What will having a plan avoid? Uh, well, if you don't, oh, if PPPP, is that one? It's a little bit rude, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Prior planning prevents <clears throat> poor performance. Performance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the army put an okay. extra word in there. Yeah. But yeah, of course, if you don't know where you're going, you're very, very unlikely to get there. Mm -hmm. um, having a plan, you've got to keep reviewing it and modifying it. And the kind of thing I'm talking about is, um, sounds a bit um, sometimes a bit woolly you know why are you doing this that sort of driving factor and actually dig into it because I've seen lots of landlords saying I'm going to do it for this this and this reason and then the hair off somewhere else um, they're looking for I don't know let's say retire early mm -hmm. um, less stress maybe even change their job or um, you know, leave their job whatever but then they go and do a 10 bed uh, conversion was, on, a, on a windmill. I was going to say, having the plan sucks up all their life. And having the plan will yeah. make sure you buy the right house. It clarifies yeah. what you want. Yeah. Uh, it also puts the numbers down. So sometimes the numbers will be significantly different to what you thought. Adam has conversations with clients. I overhear them. Um, so then, how many houses do you think you will need? Is the the question. Uh, because they've just told you the income they want five thousand pounds a mm. month, and they tell you, <clears throat> and you have to say something like. It's not five houses, it's eight. Now, sure. it's really good that we know that today because that means we've got a bit more urgency. And by the way, I'll tell you, we can do eight. You can do eight. I'm looking at that. This is doable. It's going to take you another 18 months, but I can see your capital pot. It's going to work. Let's just not be aiming for five because yeah. that will not achieve your plan. So the right house, the right area, setting your stall out for um, being realistic about how much time it will take to find it manage it on the back end, it helps uh, you have you got that time? Get to the end result. It's clarifying yeah. things. Yeah. If you were to run a, uh, a big business, you'd have a boardroom, and in there you'd make the big strategic decisions and you would keep tabs on the key performance indicators in your business. They'd all be fed up to a boardroom table and you'd be able to have that helicopter view, the 40,000 foot view of what your business is running at and, and that's what I'm talking about with, with, with having a plan. Okay, so, right, yeah. Perfect, so number one is have a plan. What mm. is number two? Uh, number two is uh, getting your operations right. Day-to-day -day so stuff. Day-to-day -day stuff. So you've gone down the corridor from the boardroom and you're on the shop floor. What happens day-to-day? -day? Get a grip of it and loads of landlords mm do not understand what being a landlord is. Yep. It's a fact. And uh, you might think you do, um, but unfortunately we see a parade of landlords walk into our offices, self-managing, DIY, and the one thing that stands out is you can buy a house, you can rent it out, you are a landlord, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, but did you know what it takes to be compliant? Um, yeah. Have you How got the you license? Void the void. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a list of things to tighten yeah. up that will make you more money. Um, so I can I can listen straight away. Avoid the void is is, mm -hmm. is the big one. <clears throat> Voids, bad debts, maintenance are the three big yep. levers that self managing landlords aren't pulling enough. You need to keep the voids under seven to fourteen days, and that's the empty period. So start marketing it beforehand. The other, the other things are um, compliance. Compliance will cost you money. And market and rent. Make market sure you get in the market rent. Market rent, yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. If you haven't got your operations in order, if you're self-managing, you're probably making a mistake on some of those things. Yeah. Definitely. Market, every, every landlord that comes in, 99 out of 100 would, would yeah. not have their property at market rent. And you might think, um, I heard it yesterday actually, oh, I'm a soft touch. That tenant's mm. been in there for two years. I don't really want to. I know them. 
I don't want to put the rent up. That's unfair on everybody involved, including the tenant in many ways. I know no tenant is demanding a rent increase, yeah. but they will be demanding that you fix the boiler when it breaks. And the plumber is charging that higher rate now versus five years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> Do not put yourself into a position where your margin is eroded and eroded. And okay, you might not think you need the £200 extra a month, I personally think that if you're going to build a property portfolio, you do and you should. Yeah. That's just well, a silly you, you business You will when you come to refinance it, you will. Uh, well, that's also if you ever wanted point. to sell it. If you want to refinance it, and if you ever wanted to sell it occupied, which is quite a good way of selling these days, you'd need the market rent. Definitely. But don't put yourself in a position where you are fed up with being a landlord because it's not making enough money, and then you know yeah. you can blame yourself because you're getting £200 a month less, for example. Oh. So, yeah, voids, bad debts, maintenance. Um, Compliance and rent levels are your operational Definitely. thing. Yep. Okay, number three. Number three, get some friends, get some mates. Most landlords, you're all Billy No mates, me included. Um, get what you mean is though, landlord friends, landlord right? Friends. Yeah. Power team. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit cringe, that word. Power yeah. team. Get power team. Yeah, yeah. yeah we always so call it because actually it's a powerful team. What do you need? Um, so, solicitor, um, make sure you buy the right thing, um, get your conveyancing done. Get a good. Right. We're solicitor talking about, who understands yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. The, the, for the self-managing under, I'm kind of assuming, I, I always do solicitor in a particular order. Solicitor's only for the next new purchase, isn't it? And, and hopefully you're not going to get too many legal For your refinances. Your refinance as well. Solicitor, solicitor They're broader. on the panel with all the lenders and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mortgage broker Specialist is buy-to-let. really, really important for any landlord, mm-hmm. whether you've got a portfolio that you don't want to grow or you've got a portfolio you need to uh, keep refinancing. Not every landlord um, has mortgages. You might be sat there thinking, I don't need a mortgage broker, I'm, I'm held in cash and I want to stay that way. That is fine, uh, of course it's fine. Um, I'd like to have the option of putting finance onto a property at any mm-hmm. time and changing things around. Things change in your life, um, altering your gearing level um, is completely in, your, in my control as a landlord and it should be in your control and having a mortgage broker on panel is really important for that. Um, yep, what else? Know, accountant. Property accountant. Property proper accountant, one. yeah. Yep. Um, proper one. Who you, you, you can get all these things right. You know, right house, right area, all your operational side right. You've got the right strategy. It's all working beautifully well. And you even get down to your you know, your, 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 your EBITDA, if you like. That bottom number's good. But then before tax, it's like, oh, all the tax, all this bit. If you get it wrong, every good thing you did can be wiped out by paying the wrong mm-hmm. uh, level of tax. I'll throw one more in there. Um, because it's kind of a, a step on from <clears throat> an accountant, a bookkeeper. I've always, always had a bookkeeper from for, for my properties. I've never been one of these people that sort of have, have an Excel document and send it in at the end of the year. Um, I did grow my property portfolio quite quickly. We bought, in the first year of trying to buy properties, we bought 48 houses in one year. I was very annoyed. Because it in, I wanted 52 <clears throat> and 52. It happened to be that by the 54th week, I'd bought 54 and that was like, oh, I kind of made up for it. But yeah, so we bought quite a few quite quickly um, and uh, having a bookkeeper was essential. So I've never done that Excel spreadsheet, but I do think you should know what your profit and loss is on a monthly basis. Yep. And having a bookkeeper to do okay. that is really important. Cool. So that was number three. Mm. What is your fourth tip for a self-managing landlord? Have a bit of fun with it. Celebrate when you achieve. Mm, no. uh, and this is something I, I always think Landlords can be like, really miserable, can't they? Well, I am. <laughs> so I, yeah, I always say to people, remember the, whatever it is, 362 days yeah. of the year that you didn't yeah. get a phone call about a leaky tap or a leaking yeah. roof or a tenant this or whatever it is. I will always mention yeah. this <clears> as a tip for enjoying a landlord life, and I need reminding of it. That's why I always bring it up. It's, it's my wife, Emily, who always said, yeah, I, I am a bugger for the good thing happened. You know it, you say it, mm. you take the mick of it, it, whether it's the, my landlording thing or in the business business. And I go, okay, that's great, what next? Yeah. Straight away. And I don't even look, that was a really good thing. So yeah, um, yeah. Hold, hold yourself. What, what, I, what we'd like to do, or I like to do personally, what Adam would do as, um, yeah, if he ever speaks to a landlord, it's like, okay, what, what, what are we doing this for? Go back to the plan. When you get to this point, what are you going to do? What's going to be different in your life? How are we going to celebrate that? Emily came up with a really good idea the other day. We're going to do it. So the next year, we're going to name a few, they're, they're key milestones. Buy the bottle of wine. We like wine. Mm-hmm. Emily's a bit of a wine snob. Buy the bottle of wine, <clears> leave <throat> it on the shelf. And when the thing happens, nice. you, go, you yeah. go take Celebrate the, when you achieve. Celebrate yeah. when you achieve, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, and the fifth one. It's the, the most powerful one. Yep. Yeah. Drum roll. It's, it's obvious. You've got one, two, three, four. Okay. 
you've got your plan, <clears throat> um, you've got your operations so slick that it's making you more money, you've got no hassle, you're sat on a beach, it's all beautiful, you, you couldn't get it any better. Um, your power team, if anything comes in, you wanna change stuff, it's a speed dial phone call away, you're sat on the beach, you're celebrating while you achieve, what's the one thing you can do to make this better? Repeat, yep. just go again. Because um, you've got everything in place, in place, so you can just keep replaying. If you, yeah. are, lots of self-managing <clears throat> landlords are in this position, oh, I'm fed up, I don't want to sell up, I'm not sure, all this red tape, don't like it, not making me enough money, don't buy anymore, you shouldn't buy anymore. But if you follow those one, two, three, four tips, you should get to a position. I'm in this position, um, what do I want now? Oh. That house, holiday home. More holidays, helicopter, <laughs> whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, yes. you wake up in the morning and you say, I want this. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it's not I'm, not, I'm not a materialistic person. I'm more like, I want some time. I want to go away yeah, with yeah. the kids, holiday, <clears throat> whatever it is. Um, you should be able to say, I, I want that. And uh, I'm going to get that. How do I do it? Well, I know what my plan is. Gross that up by six times more. I need six more buy to lets. That will achieve that. Done. There we go. Buy All right. Nice. So. There we go. There's my <clears throat> five tips for self-managing landlords. Being a, <coughs> being, right a, being a self-managing landlord can be lonely, it can be challenging, so hopefully they helped. Um, feel free to book a call with me. There'll be a link in the description below. Mm. If you've got any yeah. questions, anything you think we can help you with, yep. always if, happy to chat. Yep. If you like this video, if you got value from it, please give us a thumbs up, like. If you want to see more videos like this, we make videos for uh, anybody who's a landlord or wants to be a landlord, whether you're a DIY, a self-manager, whether you use a letting agent or not, then we make this kind of content. You subscribe, and then you'll get it coming out. If you go to our website, fullandlords.com, <coughs> the uh, join us button, it unlocks a vault full of all sorts of stuff. So get in there and, uh, and join. We'd love to stay in touch. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye for now.